Hello friends. Today we are going to learn a new topic or new concept that is called as poetic devices. What are the poetic devices? Poetic devices are things which are used by poet in his poem to decorate his poem or to make it musical or lyrical on his way. Therefore, he uses certain ideas. For example, we are going to see alliteration first. In the alliteration, poet is using a particular sound repeatedly in every line. For example, we will see uh, the Marathi example: "Chiu tai sandni chauka tun chiu chiu karat chalya." Here, sound "s" is repeated again and again. In English, there are so many examples. For example, she sells sea shells on the sea shore. Here, sound "s" is repeated, or sound "sh" is also repeated again and again. Therefore, there is alliteration. Again, in English, lady is looking for a ladder. The ladder lies along. Here, "l" sound is repeated again and again. Then baby buys butter, but brother bans butter. Here sound b is repeated again and again. The next example is some songs are sweet and some say sorry songs. Here sound s is repeated again and again. Now you have to write the activity. based on alliteration poetic devices for example you can use beautiful birds say uh, sad song uh, stepping stone city side no one knows by using these words you can make or by using your using your own ideas you can write at least 15 sentences of alliteration on your own this is re, uh, to be written in the activity book it will be the next activity in your activity book again we have to see another poetic devices that is onomatopoeia onomatopoeia that is a poetic devices which expresses a particular sound in the poem for example while talking or while singing we make particular sounds for example bang bang hush hurra ha these are the sounds we use in the poet poem therefore these uh, words which you expresses express sounds are called as onomatopoeia poetic devices for example uh, banging for example roaring of lion beeping of uh, vehicles then twitting of birds these are the examples of uh, poetic devices that is onomatopoeia now again you have to write the examples of onomatopoeia 2 for the next activity the alliteration activity will be different and the onomatopoeia uh activity will be new activity both activities will be written separated you can take the use of the next poem the little river to express your activities or poetic devices thank you